Some people, said Humpty Dumpty, looking away from her as usual, have no more sense than a baby. Alice didn't know what to say to this. It wasn't at all like conversation, she thought, as he never said anything to her. In fact, his last remark was evidently addressed to a tree. So she stood and softly repeated to herself, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty in his place again. That last line is much too long for the poetry, she added, almost out loud, forgetting that Humpty Dumpty would hear her. Don't stand chattering to yourself like that, Humpty Dumpty said, looking at her for the first time. But tell me your name and your business. My name is Alice, but... It's a stupid name enough, Humpty Dumpty interrupted impatiently. What does it mean? Must a name mean something? Alice asked doubtfully. Oh, of course it must, Humpty said with a short laugh. My name means the shape I am, and a good, handsome shape it is too. With a name like yours, you might be any shape, almost. Why do you sit out here all alone? said Alice, not wishing to begin an argument. Why, because there's nobody with me, cried Humpty Dumpty. Do you think I didn't know the answer to that? Ask another. Don't you think you'd be safer down on the ground? Alice went on, not with any idea of making another riddle, but simply in her good-natured anxiety for the queer creature. That wall is so very narrow. What tremendously easy riddles you ask, Humpty Dumpty growled out. Of course I don't think so. Why, if ever I did fall off, which there's no chance of, but if I did...